Hello, I'm Omar Shakir, the Narrative Director at Avalanche Studios New York, working on Just Cause 4. In our new game, Rico Rodriguez will hunt down the truth about his past on this fictional South American world of Solis. You'll still use Rico's wingsuit and parachute for traversal, but now we've added new wind currents. They enable you to glide through the world wherever you see them. Let's take a look at Rico's new grappling hook. All of its functionality from the previous games returns, but we've added multiple new features, including the ability to customize different loadouts. In our current setup, we have a powerful charge pulse that blasts objects apart when they meet. A major addition to the grappling hook is the ability to attach multiple airlifters to any object in our game. At the press of a button, the player can disable all airlifters, sending objects crashing back down to the ground. The boosters are back, but this time you can fire them from the grappling hook to remotely and precisely place them wherever you want. Let's get creative and use a combination of the boosters and airlifters. For example, we've taken a crane and cargo container and turned them into a rocket-powered wrecking ball. As you know, everything in Just Cause is always driven by physics. But in Just Cause 4, we've given you freedom that you've never experienced before. Now, by adding more airlifters and changing the placement of the boosters, we've made something completely different out of the same shipping container. A makeshift Zeppelin. Now, let's jump right into the action and check out some of the more extreme parts of the open world. In this mission, Rico's pursuing a massive tornado as it weaves a path of destruction throughout the grasslands. And this is the Storm Chaser, the only vehicle that allows him to do so. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Thanks to Avalanche's new Apex engine, everything you see, as well as the trajectory of every spiraling object, is being calculated in real time. Take the storm chaser and get out of here. I'll get the tornado back on track. The Black Hand have taken over Solis's private airport. And to progress, Rico must take out the wind cans that are holding the tornado at bay. Adios. The player can take out the wind cannons in any way they choose. Right now we're using the railgun, one of the many new weapons in the game. And all these new weapons have a secondary fire option. So in this case, the railgun can shoot a powerful beam of energy, and it can also deploy a drone that will fight alongside Rico. You can even use this drone as a grapple point to propel yourself into the air. For 
the next cannon, let's get more creative and use some new features of Rico's grappling hook. That's all we're going to show today. It's just a small glimpse of what to expect in Just Cause 4. And there's plenty more to come when you play yourself on December 4th. Welcome to Just Cause 4 and the return of Rico Rodriguez, a rogue agent on a mission that'll challenge everything and everyone he knows. Rico has arrived in the fictional South American country of Solis, the largest and most breathtaking world we've ever created. Every journey into Solis will uncover history, secrets, and danger. Never before has a Just Cause game offered greater variety, rich in all forms of life. At first glance, Solis is a beautiful location, but scratch the surface and you will uncover oppression, fear, and violence, all enforced by Gabriella, the leader of the private militia organization, The Black Hand. Just Cause 4 takes destruction and physics simulation to a whole new level with the introduction of Extreme Weather. Experience towering tornadoes that can tear trees from the ground and level bridges to sticks. Awesome forked lightning, unpredictable and deadly sandstorms, and roaring blizzards. Witness the spectacular destruction as they offer both a challenge to Rico, as well as creating fun opportunities for creative sandbox gameplay. Our vehicles have been totally overhauled with new additions that offer extra gameplay opportunities. Bulldozers, car transporters, cranes, and even wrecking balls are all fun in our world. We have new handling on bikes and cars, as well as exotic vehicles like jet skis and micro jets. Rico's grapple is now fully customizable and has been overhauled to make it more intuitive for newcomers while offering greater depth for a more experienced player. The grapple now has more tethers than ever before and the ability to deploy booster rockets in the all new airlifters, making the grapple an incredibly powerful and creative tool. Meanwhile, a new story glues together our free-form, go-anywhere, do-anything gameplay that Just Cause is so famous for, and the stakes for Rico have never been higher. <laughs> Combat in Just Cause 4 is better than ever. Enemies now present a far more intelligent threat to Rico. Each archetype comes with unique abilities, with AI designed to keep the player on their toes. So Lee's is a deeply advanced systemic world. Everything you've seen from the incredible physicalized destruction to unparalleled draw distance is powered by the brand new best in class open world Apex engine. Welcome to Just Cause 4. I was born to fight wars that no army could win. There was no fear. No failure. But the rules have changed. The enemy changed and no one was ready for it the black hand they are the world's most powerful private army but even they should fear what they've created this is in a war rico this is survival
Does that happen a lot? Want me getting shot at? All the time. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. What a